All right, cool. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Damien. I'm here with some of the best marketers around the country. Uh, each of them run local Facebook groups to help local business owners really um, succeed during this pandemic and how to thrive even afterwards. So, you know, we've We've been masterminding and I wanted to bring all of us together. Um, these are experts all in their local marketplaces. They're gonna share um, where they're from, their name, where they're from. And then afterwards, we're gonna go one at a time. They're, all, they're each gonna share a strategy that's helping their local business owners just really crush it and succeed. And so um, you guys wanna start? We'll go ahead and start with Jake. Jacob, I already said your name, but go ahead and just say your name again and where you're from and then we'll go around. Yeah, like, like you said, I'm Jacob, um, out in West Tennessee, just outside of Memphis, so pretty large market area for myself. And the biggest thing I've done during this time is, you know, like we mentioned before, when we were kind of masterminding, there's more customers online right now than ever before, especially social media. So my really, you know, target strategy for my business owners that I'm connected with is, you know, are we filling out our Facebook profiles, our business pages 100%, okay? What kind of audiences are we targeting? Okay, um, just trying to build a presence while you have time off, as well as the amount of audience, you know, that you have at this point in time, I think is huge. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what we've been going on, so. Awesome, man. Thanks for sharing that. Who's next? Let's do Greg. I'll just call you right. his name. How about that? There we go. I'm Greg Bukovats uh, from Springfield, Missouri. Um, right in the heart of the Ozarks. We are, uh, we're really focused right now on helping our clients to identify areas that uh, they can grow their business in. You know, obviously everybody right now is kind of uh, sitting back a little bit on their heels, but uh, I've been pushing my business owners to, uh, to, to move forward, get on their toes and uh, to keep pushing forward. Uh, one example of that is I've got a safe and vault client um, here in Southwest Missouri, and they, they do business regionally. So anywhere from uh, Northwest Arkansas uh, into uh, the Eastern Oklahoma, um, the Southeast uh, corner of Kansas, uh, all the way up to uh, Kansas City, St. Louis, uh, Western Kentucky. So it's kind of a big region that they serve. And um, one of the things that, that occurred for us in the last year is in our last voting cycle, uh, we passed uh, laws or whatever to allow legalization of medical cannabis. So uh, we've got a lot of cannabis related in, um, industry and businesses that are popping up, um, not just dispensaries, but all, all kinds of business. And one thing that they all need are, are safes, safe places to keep their product and their, their cash on hand. And so, um, that's, that's perfect for my client. And so what we're doing right now is, is working on uh, developing more assets to be able to market ourselves to that industry. And that's helping throughout the region in an area where, you know, some people are, are not necessarily um, down for buying safe some vaults at the moment, just because it's a high ticket item. That's awesome. That's what's up. So you're in the, you said Ozark area? You said Ozark? Yes, we are. Cool. Did, did they film Ozark where you're from? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Actually, I think they did do some filming. It's not anywhere near us, but uh, a couple of hours north of here. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, if you get off in the hills, it, it does get a little bit crazy. So. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought of. If you're watching this, uh, you know. Yeah, not, everybody's not, binging the Netflix right now. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not binging. I already watched Tiger King. I'm good. So, um, okay. Uh, Carlos, where, talk, where, where are you from and what you doing, bro? Yeah, so as David said, my name's Carlos. I'm from Great Prairie, Texas. And um, just what I've been doing, I know for a fact that right now is the perfect time to team up with other business owners, you know, locally in different industries. I've been telling everyone that I work with to get together with, you know, business owners around their local area and provide each other gift certificates, you know, for your respective service and, you know, to, to one another. And then when it comes time to sell your own service, you know, you give them all those gift certificates that um, you've got from all those other businesses keeps the money local and then it helps you sell your own service that much easier. Yeah, kind of like you mentioned earlier, like when you do gift certificates, they can do like, you know, buy $25, get $40 worth if they buy two or more meals. So those are some great strategies you've been sharing with your business owner. So, and by the yeah. way, he's not in San Francisco, he's from Texas. That, that <laughs> a little interesting. So, uh, Miss Kathy, what you got? Hey, 
Uh, so I'm Kathy Delpra. I'm out in the Chicagoland area, uh, an area called Fox Valley, right off the river. And uh, out here, one of the things that I'm really trying to focus on, I work with a lot of uh, companies in the home improvement space, and we're just trying to get creative about the kind of customers that you can service. Just think outside of the box a little bit. And I think this can kind of apply in just about any industry. You know, we're used to thinking of our services only being a fit for a certain type of person or a certain type of other business. But, you know, in times like these, you got to get creative. So one of the things we're doing, for example, with one of my bathtub refinishers is, you know, some of my refinishers are out there still working in homes, you know, practicing safe distancing and others close their business down during this period, uh, during the quarantine. But I don't think that always has to be the case. So one of the things we're doing with one of our refinishers is reaching out to all the resorts and all the hotels to find out if their maintenance program is still in place during the quarantine, because this is the perfect time for a resort to remodel the interior, disinfect the interior while there are no people in the building. And one of the things that these you know, resorts are gonna have to think about is you know, when the doors open back up, the customers are going to be a little bit hesitant to book their vacations because they're gonna be concerned about their exposure. I think people are gonna kind of ease back into the travel industry. So that is a market as an example that is a prime opportunity for cleaning companies to reach out to them, home improvement companies. I mean, think about it. If you have a brand new shower installed or a brand new uh, tub reglaze, people are going to feel a lot more comfortable about bathing and showering in those fixtures, knowing that they're basically brand new and haven't been touched by anyone who could have possibly been sick. So just think outside the box about the customers you can service. Uh, because you never know where the business could be. And think about some of those businesses, for example, they could be qualifying for some of these uh, government assistant loans. So they may have the money to spend on these things and using it as an investment um, you know, during this time because the funding could be there. So it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to reach out. That's awesome. That's a great strategy. Love it. Love it. What you got, Gary? Hey, so my name is Gary Sanchez. I'm uh, from Montgomery County, PA. Uh, basically, what I've been doing is uh, helping hospital staffs, plus getting your company name out there. Uh, so what you do is you would call your hospital, your local hospital's uh, marketing department, and you kind of ask around if they're accepting donations. More, li uh, more than likely, they'll say yes. So once they say yes, you basically get them to send you their, their logo, which you would in turn put on a t-shirt. And then you would take that t-shirt and get business sponsors on it. Uh, so, for example, if you have a contracting business, you would, or I would reach out to a contracting business and get them uh, to pay money for, for that sponsorship on their shirt. So once you get all those sponsors on there, you give those t-shirts to the, the hospital and you get your name out there. And at the same time, you're also helping your, your local hospital. That's awesome, man. Yeah, because yep. these hospitals, they're the, they're, the, they're the superheroes right now, you know? Definitely. They're, they're on the front line. So whatever we can do 100%. to help them out and having local businesses support them would, would be great. So yeah, great idea, man. Great strategy you've been using. Uh, Nick, what, what you got? Hi, our marketing organization is known as G3.Agency. And here in Bend, Oregon, there's a lot of local support for businesses. What we do right now with about 120 local businesses is interviews with those businesses. We keep it short. People are on the internet more during this pandemic, but their attention span is three to four minutes. So we keep it short with these local business owners and we interview them talking about what services they provide and how they can provide support, <clears throat> excuse me, to the community. This has worked out extremely well. And then what we're doing in turn is providing discounts to the audience from those local businesses. So when people are going back out and shopping, that they have reason to visit our businesses. Great strategy. No, I love it. And Nick also told me that they sell pizzas for $40. So don't go to Oregon for pizza. That's like, it's a Bend, Oregon is expensive. You just signed up someone from, from Ben the other day. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's different. That's Chicago style pizza he's talking about that. That's yeah. Uh, yeah hey, Kathy's Gary, down the road. From, I know where she lives. Yeah. I'm from New York. So that thin slice, you know, so you can't compare Chicago and New York, like they're apples and oranges. So I respect Chicago. I'm just not gonna pay 40 bucks. That's, that's a scam. It is a thin slice for 40 bucks. I could go to the fridge and show you right now, but it's a good pizza. That's like buying gas in Venezuela. That's horrible. Anyway, so 
<laughs> How much Canada. is gas in Venezuela? <laughs> How much is gas in Venezuela? It's probably as much as a pie. So <laughs> that's great. Per gallon, that's great. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? Yeah, all right. So uh, I'm Caleb. I'm in the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So on the beach, uh, Gulfport, Biloxi area of Mississippi, about an hour from New Orleans. Um, and what we've been doing is talking about building an audience right now. Uh, so Facebook ads uh, came down a lot in price uh, versus where they were in January, February. They're almost 30% lower than where they were in January, February. And uh, the early part of the year is already typically inexpensive for Facebook ads. Uh, if we look at just the seasonal nature of Facebook ad spending. So combined with the fact that ads are inexpensive right now, we also have more people on Facebook spending more time on Facebook. So less expensive ads and uh, more engagement is a very unusual combination. Uh, and obviously we can guess as to why that is, but um, the, the thin silver lining of what we're all going through right now means that um, it's easier and less expensive now to build an audience than it has been since the halcyon days of Facebook and your, right? Uh, so clients of mine uh, who are in high trust spaces and typically serve their customers in person, they find themselves right now with a lot of staff and not much to do. Uh, and the paycheck protection program means that they're not laying everyone off. They're getting some support to keep a staff on hand. So instead of having that staff twiddle their thumbs, uh, we've talked to them about building out their own Facebook groups, filling it up with their, uh, their target customer, their target audience, and then utilizing the time that their staff has to provide content. Uh, you know, the, a lot of them are supporting children right now. They're doing reads, Zoom calls like this one, story time, and all of this is wonderful, amazing content. And once we get through this pandemic, you can envision that their audience, their group will definitely come to them for uh, support in the future. And on top of that, even offering one-on-one -on -one sessions right now is something that they can do uh, to bring in revenue, uh, like tele-sessions, uh, you know, some of these classes in a one-on-one -on -one Zoom setting. That's great. That's, that's a great strategy. And I, I agree with you 100% because we've been running ads and I'm getting double the reach for the same money right now. And um, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. It's a, it's a great strategy reason. And so one of the things that um, I've been doing with, with, with my clients and then our local Facebook group, I'm down here in the, the West Palm beach area. Um, the part that for some reason doesn't want to get quarantined. And, um, <laughs> and, and so um, I just got a new client. We just finished a business consultation and we were, I was talking to her about how to, how to basically save her clients. You know, like um, I was giving her some, some real life examples of, um, there's a lot of business owners who, you know, they're a business to business play, like, uh, like accounting or like all of us are marketers or, um, you know, business to business, but, and there's people that are wanting to stop some of those services. And when I told her one of the things that I'm doing that I just did, and one thing that she needs to implement is basically use like a, a forbearance policy to have customer retention. Cause it's a lot easier to help your current customer versus spending a lot of extra money to acquire a new customer. It always costs more to acquire a new customer. And so I gave her an example that I have a, a contractor, he spends $800 a month, he got hit hard, he still needs calls coming in, and so we lowered his, um, his monthly from 800 to 400, and once we come out of this pandemic, that extra 400 will be paid off on the back end with no interest so that we can keep him with, with clients, and it was like a bright light moment, you know, so for people in, in that space, we can all find ways to help our clients now and add that type of feature and let them know, hey, I'll help you foot the bill. We're in this together. But just remember, like, you know, this will be done on the back end. And then I've been showing them different um, financing options that they can get right now to, to get capital going. You know, so we're, we're all affiliated here. Anybody that you see on the stream, if you're, you know, you're in Biloxi or you're in PA, or you're in Chicago, like any of these strategies that are being shared, each and every one of these marketers can help you do that. We, we all just wanted to share one that we're personally doing, but all of us can do like all eight and a lot more. So we're, 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 like wherever you're watching this at, whichever group you're in, reach out to like the Facebook admin of the group and, and they'll help you like implement any of these strategies. And um, with that being said, thanks for watching my peoples. Thanks for jumping on with this. Um, and uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna overcome this. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for jumping on and, and sharing your wisdom to, you know, your, your local Facebook groups and everyone else is that, that's gonna see this, so.
see you guys. Okay, thanks for having us. Yeah, for sure.